Hey guys, what's going on? This is the conservative speaking, and I wanted to talk about John Gruden ousted as the Las Vegas Raiders head coach uh, on Monday. Raiders owner Mark Davis arrived at the team's facility a couple hours ago and went to find Gruden. The two men met, and Gruden no longer will be the Raiders head coach. This decision was made due to John Gruden writing in an email 10 years ago criticizing D. Maurice Smith, who is the NFL Players Association Executive Director and who was black, that Dumbor Smith had the lips the size of Michelin tires, which we will get into this conversation right now. Amazing stuff, huh? And so, just like in the earlier clip, John Gruden, who is a white man, is ousted, fired from being the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, all because he criticized a black man about having soup coolers for lips. And, you know, my reaction is, what is the big deal? Um, John, what John Gruden said was right, right on, right on the, was right on the market. I mean, it was right on target. Okay. John Gruden said that he had lips, he had Michelin tires for lips. I would have went a deep further. I mean, the man has soup coolers for lips. Yes, the man has big lips. I, I mean, what is the big deal? John Gruden, a white man, all right, was just being honest in, in, his, critis, in his criticism of a black man with big lips. You know? This man, I mean, did, did you see did you see his lips though? Look look at his lips. Just just look at them. Look at his lips right there. This man has the type of lips to cool 10 soup bowls. This man has the type of lips to cool 10 saunas. If you were to stand right next to him, if he were to blow on you, it would literally feel like a cool breeze at night. If you if you happen to be standing outside at night and you happen to be standing right 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 next to you and he blew on you amazing this just shows you once and for all how weak and pathetic and pitiful the men are the amount the emasculation of men is real there are no real men like men can't even be honest with each other without having to without having to be punished for it okay that's number one and then number two where is the so-called racism in what John Gruden said? Although we all know that there's no such thing as racism at all. It's about right or wrong, good or evil. But I don't really see any, anything that John Gruden said that was wrong. Everything that he said was absolutely 100% correct. Now, the criticism about him doing his job, that's one thing. I don't know this man, the, the Mar Smith, whatever, whatever he calls himself. Uh, I, I don't know this Smith guy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not in the inside. I don't work in the NFL. I don't work in, um, in the executive offices. So I don't know how, how he conducts himself. I mean, I wouldn't know like how he, he daily operates, you know, so that will have to be for, for, uh, for John Gruden to say, but as far as John Gruden saying that that man had, um, uh, Michi Michelin tires for lips, he was dead on. The man has some big lips. You have white women that that are looking to have the same type of big voluptuous lips as most black men or as most black people. I mean, it's it's not a secret. Most black people have big lips. Big deal. I mean, I, I will. I will. Some people say I have big lips. I think I do. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a uh, leave a comment in the comment section. What do you what do you guys think? Do you think I have big lips? Leave a comment in the comment section, but it just goes to show you how weak and, and pathetic and pitiful um, the men are. And there aren't any real men standing up to it. I, um, I, I was actually disappointed that John Gruden even, um, that John Gruden even apologized for what he said. But that just goes to show you how weak John Gruden is. Like he practically... Uh, caved in and also from and also from this according to this source 
John Gruden resigned, and I think he was pressured to resign. Me, I would have said absolutely not, because there's nothing I, there's nothing that I said that was wrong, and there was nothing that I said that wasn't true. If you're going to fire me, fire me, but I am definitely not resigning. Amazing, amazing stuff. This just once again goes to show you um, how weak the men are, and trust me, I have proof. I definitely, definitely have proof. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to get ready to show you a clip. And um, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to turn away because this will make you weak, sick to your stomach. Here is a clip of a grown-ass black man. As a matter of fact, I, I don't really, really even want to get in, into the, the details of it. I, I really want you to see it for yourself, but... Uh, th this is a clip of a grown ass black man conducting himself on national TV, uh, uh, responding, or I would say reacting to the comments that John Gruden made about this particular black man. Watch this. Be able to play for him. You know, to to speaking to Teddy Teddy's point, you know. Basically, you hear us talk about we got a work to do, we got a job to do, and that's to provide for our families. And 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 Teddy hit it right right on the head of of, of just putting your head down and going playing football. You know, I, I I speak about the game of football. I fell in love with the game of football, Sam, at six years old, and I get emotional talking about it because of situations like this. Is he serious right now? Rights were taken, were 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 kind of messed with in high school over the color of my skin. And now being able to uh, play 14 years in the National Football League. To have <laughs> Is he really crying right now? A leader. We talk about leadership. We give guys these big contracts. Beta. Because they want to be able to lead 70 men, coaches, equipment staff, and managers to the number one goal, and that's to win a championship. And Randy Moss should be ashamed of himself. And not forward in 21st century, like I said, man. National Football League, this so hurts. a grown me. man crying on national man. TV. I'm I can, sorry. No. I can play for you, but I'd rather not. Okay? I'd rather not do it, but if I have to do it, I will. And it's just because I have other what people. What a bunch of weak, pathetic for, men. Right? But I, I'd rather not do it. Yeah. But it, it, we've done it before in different situations. We are all mentally tough people in that locker room, but it's something you'd rather not is, do. Is it yeah, that it's time of the month for you people? It's like Randy sitting up here feeling this yeah. way. Now, no, look, look at the white woman crying. I can't imagine a guy in that locker room today trying Amazing. to play a football game. Feeling it, that it must it must be that time of the month for I both know, of them. I don't know how. What Max, Matt, or Rex? I would love to hear your perspective. What should the NFL do right now? You see this response, and you guarantee there's there's a version of this response in that locker room. What should they do? How do you make this right? How does Amazing stuff. Um. The video was was a little longer. I I, I had to I had to cut it off. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was I was feeling sick to my stomach when I uh when when I was watching that. And and I'm sure for the rest of you that have a weak stomach, um, hopefully, you know, hopefully you didn't get too nauseous. And and if you did, hopefully you were able to take care of that and then and then come back, and 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 view and view the rest of this amazing video. But this is just the, the living proof that the blacks are weak and pathetic. I mean, they wipe this, if this isn't proof of how weak and, and pathetic black men are, I, I don't know what else, I don't know what else to tell you. All right. Randy Moss, the same Randy Moss that caused a lot of problems. All right. Now, Rand, Randy Moss did, did I mean, did, Randy Moss did go through a, a lot of tribulations, but a lot of that he really, he, he did it because he, he brought a lot of that stuff on himself. I mean, everything from, um, the fines that he had, that he had to pay for indecent behavior on and off the football field. And, and it's just, it's just, it's just amazing that, uh, that, Randy Moss, a person that I'm sure heard a whole lot worse in the locker room 
amongst his own peers, amongst the blacks. You know, notice that black people call each other the N word. All right. And and that's known in in the NFL locker rooms. You're not did you hear did you hear Randy Moss coming out and making an outcry of that? Amazing. Um but but oh 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 and this there's and then there's, 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 there's another thing I wanted to say too with this this Smith guy after he found out or after it was revealed to him that John Gruden uh, wrote an email about him ten years ago. Here he comes playing the victim, just like just like most of the blacks do. Not all, not all, but most blacks. Um, here he comes playing the victim, stating that, well, um, I'm a black man, and and this is this is what I'm used to, but uh, I have thick skin. Whatever sound like a beta to me <clears throat> the fact that you even think that racism exists um that's ridiculous you know damar smith this man this man holds the highest position in the nfl i mean this man is an executive of the players association to me it's, it's just it's just a it's just a, a, a marxist group to be honest with you but yeah this guy is the head of the players association and he's up there talking about racism. Beta, Randy Moss. Beta, this man was crying on national TV. And he was crying with another white woman. Both crying at the same time. I couldn't, I honestly couldn't tell who was more feminine. I was, I was thinking, wow, wow. Is, is it that time of the month? Or are they both going through their periods? Randy Moss, you are officially on my beta list yes I'm, I'm officially making this up now um the conservative is officially making up a beta list um more details as as i come you know i like to just make things up as i go but randy moss you are i promise you you are the first person to register on the conservatives beta list you need to overcome your mother these these men need to really overcome their mothers <clears throat> Return to the father and, and get out of your mother's grasp. Clearly, Randy Moss has the mentality of a woman. And that's because he never overcame his mother. He needs to go and forgive his mother for um for over I mean for imposing her will on him so that he can return to the fatherly state and become a man instead of a instead of a little girl. The man was crying on national television over words what what a shame what a mess randy moss you should be ashamed of yourself you should really be ashamed of yourself despicable amazing however there is good news there is good news. Now, I know that the uh, DeMar Smith wanted to use the victim card, but guess what? The race card and the victim card has been nullified and void, so the blacks cannot use it anymore. So, DeMar, so, Miss, so this Smith guy is going to have to come up with yet another excuse. <clears throat> because um, as of September 26, 2021, um, the race card and the victim card among the blacks was nullified and void. And um, I, I was happy to finally free the blacks uh, from this mental from this mental slavery of feeling a, a feeling of a victim and feeling left back of their race. But I do have a question for the blacks. When are you people going to stop looking at white people as if they are gods? Honestly, when are you when are you people going to stop looking at white people as if they are your gods or as if they are superior to you? All right, we live in America. This is a free country. The white folks are just as free as the black folks. All right? When when will you people realize that white people are no longer your gods and that you should you should stop looking at white people as if they are superior to you? All right. And 
uh, when when will you people stop doing that? Honestly, I would love to know because that's the only way that that you people will be able to finally get some some freedom. This is this is when you people will finally start to feel free. It's abnormal for a man to think that another man is superior to them. All right. So black people, especially not all, but most of most of the blacks that think this way. They really, really need to overcome. They, they, they really, really need to, to get over. Uh, they, they really need to get over their anger because it's their anger that is that is holding them back and making them feel as if they are as if someone else is superior to them. That's not normal. The only person that's supposed to be above you is God, not another person. All right. And and trust me, white and trust me, black folks, these white folks are not thinking about you like that. These white folks don't care. So stop looking at them as if they're your God and start looking at God as your God. That's the problem with you people. You people are falling away from God and it's quite evident. Because you continue to look at white people as if they're superior to you. Betas, and where are the real men? Like, I, I was waiting for someone to stand up and stop this madness. I was waiting for someone to just to just come up and just snap Randy Moss back into reality. I mean, obviously, you can't put hands on him. But I was just waiting for someone to say, Rand, like, Randy, do, do you, are you listening to yourself right now? You, you sound like her. You sound like, like that white female. Beta! Beta males. And then listen to Teddy Bruschi. Where, where are the real men to stand up and to stand up against this nonsense? John Gruden should have never resigned. And Randy Moss shouldn't have been crying like a little female on national television over nothing. You people really, really need to overcome your anger. Amazing. Let me know what you think. I'm very interested to know what you people think about this. Leave a comment in the comment section um, after you subscribe to my channel. Um, Smash that like button. And I know you're going to smash the like button for this one. Um, and once again, um, share the video, subscribe to my channel because I'll be able to provide you more content. And when you subscribe to my channel, you'll be the first one to gain access to my content. And with that being said, this is The Conservative signing out. Um, I would like to tell you that um, I didn't get too sick doing doing this doing this video um I, I i i really didn't get sick um viewing viewing that that video um you know there, there were a couple times that i felt a little queasy and um and i was dry heaving a little bit but I, I was able to to get it together but black men black men come back to god get your stuff together